Welcome back. Southern Kitchen here. We got this dude uh, and this dude. So. And today, another review. We've got that uh, Nutra FX. Damn. Uh, what is it? Cuz. Catalyft. Pre worked out. Damn, Damn homie. Sonic Boom. <laughs> Let's get to the Got that Nutra FX and their Catalyst pre workout. Some pretty green. Green. Flavor Sonic Boom. Yeah. And uh, let's see, how big is that scoop? It is 18 grams. There we go. Yes, sir. Pretty easy stuff. Um, what flavor is this? Sonic Boom. Easy. <laughs> uh, real easy one to describe. Tastes like Sonic Boom. That's right. All right, here it says it's a dietary supplement. Add one rounded scoop with 10 to 12 ounces of water. Consume 15 to 30 minutes before workout for best results. Do not exceed recommended servings per day. Bam. There we go. So. Easy shit. That's right. Ooh. It looks like the Hulk took Ooh, a big uh-huh. old piss. Actually, it looks yummy. I'm not going to lie. It's radiator fluid, bud. No, Kroger used to make this uh, watermelon. It was like a watermelon uh, kiwi soda. And this is what it looks like. This is what I feel like there's Kool-Aid. Like when you made like the the watermelon Kool-Aid or the, well, no, the, the lime, whatever the lime one was, it looks like this. I think the watermelon one was green. But it smells like chemicals. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. So let's see what the sonic boom blows up. Or So flavor on the sonic boom radiator fluid. Think about all of your green fruits. It's really weird though. Is it like a can? Is it trying to be like a candy flavor? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. It's kind of like a sour apple kiwi. Huh? It's kiwi green. The inside of it. Mm Mhm. What else? Is there anything else you want to throw in there? Watermelon. Mm -hmm. uh, Sour apple. Sour apple. Kiwi. I don't know of any other green fruits. Green grapes. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of got like that sour. So it, it uh, I mean, it, but it's not overly sour. It's like a hint of yeah, sour. I don't really. It's know. It's like natural fruity yeah, sour. I can't really pinpoint what it is, but it's like a. It's kind of like Granny Smith. Sweet sour, sort of. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. No, not right. I mean, I could drink it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it is kind of mellow. Yeah, I was gonna say it's really not like overly sweet, overly yeah. sour. It's. It's really calm. It has kind of like a, like a true all natural flavoring taste. Yeah, it's so, a it's, it's a bad. good twist. Yeah, yeah it's, it's something different. Yeah, and you don't know what it is. It's Sonic Boom. It's not a blue Raz. or a fruit punch. Thank you. Fair. All right, sorry. So label time. Label time. There is six thousand milligrams of L citrulline. Give you pumps. Three thousand milligrams of beta alanine. Strength and endurance. 2,500 milligrams of creatine monohydrate. Help build those muscles and give you a fuller pump. Ooh, that sounds painful. 2,000 milligrams of beatine and hydrus. Strength and power output. 750 milligrams of agmatine sulfate. Help you feel full with pumps. 500 milligrams of acetyl L carnitine. Help with energy and mental fatigue. I have a seventh grade reading level, apparently. 500 milligrams of taurine. Endurance and strength. 300 milligrams of L theanine. Mood elevation. 
250 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous. That's your energy. It's important. A very painful four milligrams of Yohimbi bark extract. Stimulant effects and energy. Well, there's that. <laughs> so there's the label. Um, and actually, to be honest with the label, if I were to make a pre-workout, it would be similar to this label, to be honest with you. Um, because I find myself liking these types. Yeah. A lot. It's a pretty good better. blend. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Um, and I would up the Yohimbi, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> would you About be trying the, that one? Nope. Uh-oh. This is... So let's get to performance. <laughs> um, I thought it was really good energy. Um, came on good. Had good power through my workouts. Um, zoned in. But I know for me, you don't have a problem with it. You know, Hemby fucks me up every time. Yeah, I and, like that uh, feel-good effect that it gives you. I have the exact opposite effect. I feel like I'm going to pass out during my workouts. It's awful. You're not the only one. A lot of people react yeah. differently to Yohimbi. So, if you have a Yohimbi to- intolerance, not the pre for you. <laughs> yeah. No, but for me personally, uh, it was a really good pre-workout. Um, as I stated, this would be the type of label I yeah. would make. Um, energy is there. You got your endurance. Mm-hmm. You got your... Um, Strength, you got focus. I mean, it's a well all around. In my opinion, it really hits all those those key avenues that you're really looking at, um, as far as what you want to get out of it. Yeah. Um, again, the Yohimbi thing is, is his preference. Yohimbi, I love it. It makes gives me that that feel good um, mood elevation. I don't know where I'm at type thing. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at when I take it either. <laughs> but overall, I think this is a solid a solid pre workout. Um, I, yeah, I think if you can tolerate Yohimbi, then this is a really stacked label. It really is, and it's got, I mean, I, you know, I don't talk much about pumps, but it's got my favorite combination of L-citrulline yeah. and agmentine sulfate in there. Um, with pretty good doses, not nothing crazy. Um, so you do still, you do get good, a little pump yeah, off of it without flow, having to yeah. mix in another non-stem pump formula. So there's that. Um, great, I think. So let's move on to the mother effing ratings. Yeah, they're mother effing today. Mother effing. So mixability. Mm, 10. 10. Yeah, there was no issues here. So flavor on the Sonic Boom. I give it um, probably like a 9. I, it is a really good flavor, but it doesn't really stick to anything. Yeah, I pro- I'm probably gonna go with like, like a seven and a half. It's tolerable. It's not like my favorite, um, but it's you can get it down and, and move What's forward. What's weird? They is have two for, other flavors too. For such a mellow flavor, it covers up everything it very does. well. You don't you don't get any stem taste or anything like that. But for me, I just didn't. I, I don't. I just couldn't pinpoint what it was. So yeah, I, I'd give a seven and a half flavor for me. Um, performance. Um, I'll let you go. <laughs> I think it's like a nine and a half for performance. I enjoy it. Like I talked about, this type of label is something. If I were to create a pre workout, it'd be something similar. Yeah, I think if you can tolerate Yohimbi, I think that's a fair score. If you're like me and you can't tolerate it, I wouldn't recommend it. It's really a null point, yeah, because if you can't even get through your workouts, it it yeah. defeats the purpose of taking it. Yeah, because. Yeah. It can't, like I had good energy for like a half hour, and then the second half I just felt nauseous and sick, wanted to pass out. So, and it's nothing against you know the company; it's just a reaction some people have. So there's that. I don't really think he's gonna give a number. I don't know. It's hard to give yeah. a number. Fair enough. So overall, eight point nine. I'd say a nine. That's, that's something that I would create myself. Flavoring, in my opinion, needs a little work on this flavor. I know they have two yeah. other ones, but I just can't really pinpoint. don't know what it yeah. was. I felt like I was just drinking something random that yeah. I didn't know. It wasn't bad. wasn't good, if that makes sense. So there's that. Thoughts on that? So let's go ahead and thank these guys over at Nutra FX for getting this over to us. Um, we thank appreciate you. it. 
Um, we'll tag them up here. Check out their Instagram. Head over, check out their site. They have this plus the Amino Hero that we reviewed. Um, if you want to see that, can, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, check that out. Stuff was great. I um, think they have a few other products as well. Yeah. So it's our turn. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and get the bell on. Hit that well, bell. Look. I'm just saying, you get a notification that tells you when we upload these videos. Well, that's if they get onto YouTube often. Yeah. But what I'm saying, though, is if you get the notification, you can just come see it. And I think this is a wonderful channel to be a part of. Well, there you go. Hit the like button. And then comment down below. Yes. And also, follow us on social media. Instagram is the biggest. That's where you're going to find our SK Deals, SK News, and any new announcements that we come out with. So, yeah. Boom. Boom. Sonic, Sonic boom. boom. Damn, dude. All right, we're out.